Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your love reading. So before anything, make sure to like this video. This is the best way you can support me in my work. And also just so we expand the Scorpio family. Some of you know I'm a Scorpio rising. I really love and connect with the Scorpio readings. So let's see. Let's see what are the energies for you in love. Let's go this way today. Okay, Scorpio, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Fabulous. Okay, so this is Earth energy. Capricorn is actually the devil in the tarot, and I like that. I feel like you are aligning with devil energy, meaning that you are in tune with your desires. You're not letting them control you. You're actually able to work with them to have... A beautiful life, a fun life, but still a balanced and stable life. I really like that. Uh, it, this is one of my favorite cards in the Moonology deck. A lot of releasing. Tonight is the full moon in Leo, my love. Releasing is the theme of this night and of this week, actually. Let's pick a tarot card and see what is up with that. Okay. Listen. Beautiful. Six is a karmic number, so you're actually getting the things that you deserve, you know, getting your good karma back after a difficult time, after a tough cycle. I love Six of Swords. Six of Swords is a lot about leaving behind the way we used to think, okay? The way that we used to approach things and it wasn't serving us, okay? So we're not completely changing the way we are, of course. We're actually finding more balance and being able to practice what we preach and learning from the lessons that we learn, okay? And I really like that. It feels so good. Uh, swords are how our brain perceives a situation. I feel like there was chaos in your mind recently, let's be honest. Um, seeing the four of pentacle and the justice card to me is like, again, you're, you're walking towards balance. It's not perfect and you're not necessarily seeking for perfection. You understand that balance is absolutely not about perfection. Okay. I think that you're coming to terms with something that used to annoy you on the physical level because the four of pentacles is a lot about the boundaries we have with our body how we learn to listen to our body uh to the nervous system and how we create boundaries that are actually healthy and balanced for us and seeing the justice card i really like seeing the justice card with the six of sword to be honest you're kind of redefining balance in your life, what it is for you to actually receive love and give love in a healthy way. And that's why Capricorn energy, devil energy is here in first position of this reading. You're not chained and you're not uh, controlled by your desires anymore. Again, you're using them to have a pleasurable life. It feels great. Pleasure is a birthright. And sometimes as sexual beings, especially Scorpio, and I say it all the time, you guys are so much more than that. I hate when people are like saying that Scorpio, this is like the biggest thing about you. It's the biggest thing about human nature. Like we're all sexual beings. It's just that some people are more, more comfortable uh, showing it and embracing it than other people. Uh, so I really like that. I think you're in tune with devil energy. It makes me just smile, honestly. Eight of Wands, which is, of course, a communication card. Cupid's arrow, number eight. So we know there's a transformative energy. Again, something is changing and transforming with the way you connect, the way you talk, the way you receive information, and it feels good. You learn a lot about yourself. And again, I feel like it's coming from a place of living in chaos, living in really difficult times, surviving really difficult times in your life. And it could be that this person that you're thinking right now, this person you have in your heart space, I don't feel like it was smoothly. From the beginning, I think it's been really difficult 
It might have been uncomfortable at one point. You might have felt alone also sometimes, feeling like this person doesn't understand you completely. But again, you're changing the way you communicate and receive information, the way you give love and receive love and getting much more balanced with that. And that's why the Five of Cups is in the reverse. I think you've been grieving something really really difficult that happened in your past could have been something really traumatic and really personal to you and we're never done grieving you know i feel like it's it's so sad and it's a shame that humans we feel like we have to give a time stamp like a time a specific time uh, during let's say to grieving when we always carry grief with us it's just that we have better tools to face it. I've seen this picture recently um, of it was a jar and there was a rock inside and the rock was symbolizing grief. And it's, it's just you that become stronger, that have better tools. But the grief never changes size. It never changes. You always have it with you. And I think that Scorpio, it doesn't have to be a physical loss. It could be. But it could be that you had to grieve a part of your childhood. I'm going to be honest. It feels like I'm connecting with someone who has a difficult story, who have a tough story of their life, of their specifically the past, the childhood, maybe teenage years. Yeah, look at that. That card. And three of swords that is actually your energy it's an energy of transformation and i think that where you are today is all because you were willing to face death transformation ending with bravery and an open heart you have so much courage my love and you are willing to have difficult conversation three of swords is all about that Difficult conversation and bravery. It's the biggest symbol of courage. And right now we are in Leo season. Leo is all about the heart. What is in your heart space? What are these wounds, these swords that you have that... And swords, again, it's how our brain perceives a situation. What are the stories that you've been carrying with you for years and years about how you don't deserve love? Maybe how, again, you give love and receive love. I think you're rewriting your story. You're taking control of your story. And instead of being this person that society raised or your parents raised in a certain way, you're actually living by your own rules and taking your power back. <sighs> I have crazy goosebumps and tears in my eyes right now. This is crazy. You've been through so much, man. You've been through so much. And I don't feel like you give yourself enough credit for how much of a survivor you are because you don't want to um, blow up, smoke up your ass. Like, I don't know if I can say that. Um, remember, I'm French, okay? So sometimes I'm like <laughs> saying uh, things. I'm like, is he going to actually say that? But you're not always giving yourself proper credit for being a survivor. Actually using the things that you've been through to become such a beautiful partner, an open person, a great listener, and also a great lover. Not only are you lovable, not only are you attractive, sensual, you are a lovable being. You are amazing, literally. And I feel like everything that happened in your life, you understand that it happened for you. You really know how to use lessons, okay? And it's really easy to, for a tarot reader to say, you've learned some lessons. And I hate that. I hate when someone say that. Like, this person was a lesson for you. I'm like, I'm not here to teach anybody to, you know, how to be a man, okay? Um, 
I'm not here to teach you how to be a better person. Just like do it yourself. It's too much for me. Like I don't want to carry that on my shoulder. So I hate when we talk about lessons, but it's really about the awareness that you have and the willing to create a beautiful life for yourself. Uh, the willingness, I think that I, I have to say this way. Nine of Pentacles is actually, well, Virgo energy, which is such a beautiful energy when it comes to boundaries and how we give and receive energy. But also it's eating the fruit of your labor, like actually enjoying the things that you've been working so hard for. And I think that this is a love reading because you are about to meet or you just met someone that will literally change your life. You are open to love. You are confident that you deserve it and you will get someone who is on your level. Page of Wands. I feel like someone will be making the first move. And I think that by having conversations with them and getting to know them, you just have such a vision of what this relationship can become. This is major power couple vibes. The page of wands, look at his wands like, I know it's just a piece of wood, but look at everything I can do. And in tarot, wands is the only suit that is like a natural living thing. You know, swords are not a living thing. Pentacles are not a living thing. Cups either. The wands are actually expanding by themselves. And that's why I love the wands so much. And also the page of wands, which is like, I'm going to make the best out of what I have and what I'm giving. I am putting my trust into the universe. And also I'm willing to do the work. I'm willing to face the darkest part of myself to get what I want. I am not just hiding behind a blindfold. I'm actually facing shit and doing the work. A major change of perspective when it comes to you. Major change of perspective. And I'm not seeing you, I'm not saying you weren't aware before. I'm just saying it's like 10 times better. You're like a new version of yourself. Even more lovable, even more intelligent, even more aware. And I feel like that's why you're ready. To go through this relationship that literally will feel like a miracle. It will feel like a gift from the universe. This is someone with who you will connect intellectually uh, and physically, like really deeply. This person gets you. This person knows what a Scorpio is. You could be dealing with another Scorpio, definitely. Could be an earth sign, a fire sign. Listen, it could be anyone, but if it's not another Scorpio, again, it's someone who knows Scorpio energy, understand it, like fuck with it, and knows how to bring out the best in you. And I really like that. It could be someone with a Scorpio moon, Scorpio rising. I'm hearing double Scorpio. So if you are a double Scorpio or you actually are dealing with someone who has like double Scorpio on their chart, this message might be like even more for you. <sighs> Guys, my intuition is kicking me in the butt right now. I'm connecting with someone, definitely. Tonight is the portal, guys. And even if you don't believe in that, just trust me, something is open. Yeah, look at that. Magician came in to say like, yeah, bitch, the portal is open. It's a new beginning for you, my love. Again, these are the kind of things that I, I annoy myself when I say that in a reading because it's so easy. Anytime you see an ace, a one, you're like, new beginning. I hear that all the time. But it's actually something that you created. And it's worth mentioning because it is really powerful. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, let me take two seconds and talk about the chariot. It came out in the reverse. A lot of people associate the, the chariot energy by moving forward. When look at this chariot, it's all made of concrete. You're actually stuck. You're actually obsessed with how you look and the external instead of the, the internal, what matters. In the reverse, it's someone who is graduating from being kind of a teenage mentality attitude 
focusing on the external and not doing enough work on the internal, you're actually switching that around. And the chariot in the reverse, to me personally, is moving forward. I love that. Being able to get vulnerable and to actually, again, face your demons, get in alignment with your devil energy. And the two of wands. You meeting your soulmate, meeting your twin flames. In a love reading, the two of wands for me is a lot of like twin flame soulmate energy. Um, this feels like a miracle. This feels like your whole life led to me this, meeting this person who feels like a mirror of yourself, who feels like they understand, see you and hear you. And I can't stop smiling. This is exactly the kind of love you deserve and exactly the type of love you've been manifesting. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect. I'm not saying there's not going to be work. There's not going to be ups and downs. It's impossible. Like life is hard. Love is hard. But when we actually love someone and we're willing to put in the work, the effort, the energy, willing to fuck up and get back up again, forgive and move on and learn again and mess up again, this is how relationship lasts and this is how you build a special connection with someone. And you're about to go through that and you might already be going through that. And I'm really excited for you, Scorpio. Listen, that was a great reading. Freeing yourself, closing a chapter. Look at the world card at the bottom of the deck. Things after being so fixed, so hard. We're freeing ourselves from that. And when we are in world energy, we never go back. When we heal and when we deal with something important and we go through world phase, we don't go back. It's like it's checked on our list and we are actually better version of ourselves. And that's what's happening to you, my love. Oh, this feels good. It felt like a reading that I connect with and I'm really proud and happy about it so again if it's not your story leave it not my problem and if it is if there's anything that you connect with let me know and like this video i'm really excited i might be doing part two um as a twin flame soulmate reading i don't know but thank you so much let me know in the comments if you appreciate this reading and connect with it and we'll talk really soon scorpio bye